What's going on guys? So I need to quickly do a proper intro. So um I decided I'm gonna do a review for all CW shows like after the show comes out. So uh that's what this is. Hopefully you enjoy. What's going on guys, it's your boy, so um I decided <coughs> I'm gonna do a review for like all the series not serious, season premieres of the Arrowverse shows, so this is gonna be the review for Supergirl, uh, I'm literally watching it right now, it's on commercial break, but the first, first, like, bit before the first commercial was pretty good, I like to start with the whole dream sequence with mon and whoever that chick was, I have no idea who she is, because I don't follow comics as much as other people do, but it was pretty good. I gotta admit, I like the fact that they showed Monel like right off the bat, and I like the fact that it cut to her flying with her eyes closed above National City. That was genius. And then it immediately after that went to her fighting a bad guy, which was great. And she seems to be like, what is it called? Mad? Yeah, mad. She seems to be pretty mad about uh, Monel being gone or whatever. Like she doesn't seem sad. As much, she just seems, like, ticked and pissed off. But, um, yeah. And, uh, commercial break, the first cliffhanger of the show being back is great. It was the guy in the board conference thing who was being a total jerk, saying that he was going to buy a cat coat. So that's interesting. So I will get back to you. Because the show's coming back, so I'll get back to you after next commercial break. What's going on, guys? Okay, so it's on the next commercial break. It's currently showing a Justice League commercial. The new trailer looked sick, by the way. I'm pretty sure I did a reaction on it. I'm not sure, though. Um, so, the last commercial, I mean, the last snippet was really interesting. So she fought the bad guy, and I'm pretty sure she just quit her job at CatCo. Which is interesting. Uh, her and, and uh, Lena Luther, I think her name's Lena, have like gone into like a fight or whatever. Well, no, not necessarily a fight, but like they're just not like what's the word I'm looking for? They're like they haven't been hanging out much, and like Lena's kind of like, oh my god, I miss you, and so that's interesting, of course. Um, they had a scene at the bar, and it appears that Alex and What's-Her-Face might be having some issues, and they might be breaking up. But that's pretty much all that I got from this last bit. It seems like Kara's getting, like, really mad about the fact that mon has gone, and she, her being mad is just not a good thing. But, uh... I'll get back to you on the next commercial, so peace out. Okay, so it's currently the next commercial break, and uh, so in the last, like, scenes, Kara and Alex got into a huge fight, and basically the sum up of the fight was Kara's trying to no longer be a human, I mean, yeah, she's trying to no longer be a human, She's just trying to be, like, full-on alien or whatever. Let's, like, be Supergirl 100% of the time. And her being really mad is just, like, not right. I don't know. I mean, I kind of like what they're doing with it, though. Like, they're doing a really good job with it. Because at the end of the argument or whatever, it shows Kara or whatever. And she actually looks like she's kind of sad rather than mad, which is good. But she should be sad and not mad. But, yeah. Also, during the last commercial, I mean, during the last few scenes, they showed the guy who's trying to buy CatCo is working with the bad guy. The bad guy, uh, Dubois, or whatever his name is, is working on getting a cloak so that he could drop a nuke and be completely undetected because he's practically invisible. Which, that's interesting. I really like that. Honestly, I think that the what I've seen of this episode of Supergirl is better than everything I've seen of the last two seasons of Supergirl. But, 
that's just my opinion. So, see you on the next commercial break, which I think is actually going to be the last one. So, I think this is the last update before, you know, the final update. So, see you guys then. Okay, so, back to commercial break. During the last thing, they just did a lot. So, I'm going to try to recap as much... As I can, if that makes sense. I just ran downstairs to grab something, so I'm a little out of breath right now. <laughs> oh, it's not good. Okay. So, and the last thing, uh, they were showing the, uh, they were revealing the statue that they're making of Supergirl because, you know, the girl of steel, that's what the episode's called, I'm pretty sure. And uh, she was there, and she was about to go down and join the audience. And right before she did, there was a bomb. And I found out that the person bombing was bombing from underwater instead of above ground. So they figured that out. Um, yeah, that's basically everything that was going on. Like, that's the best I can explain everything that was going on. Uh, they were trying to figure out where they were, but, you know, Supergirl being a genius, was able to find out that it was underground. Supergirl seems to be doing okay now. Like, she no longer seems to be as mad, which is good, because she's not good when she's mad. So, um, that's it for this part. I will see you guys the next commercial break, which I'm pretty sure that one will be the last one. I said that the last one would be the last one, but I was wrong. So I'm pretty sure this one will be the last one. If that makes sense. I don't know. I probably don't make sense because I'm stupid. But, uh, yeah, that's it. So, hey guys, so I am ba back. Uh, another commercial just ended. Apparently I was wrong the last two times. It's not the final commercial. I'm pretty... Okay, I'm, like, 100% confident that this is the final one. Okay, so, um... During the last break... Uh, Kara, like, found the submarine of, submarine, of course. They introduced a new character. I don't know who she is. I'm sure if I did research, I would know who she is. But, um, her daughter got crushed under something. And, uh, she lift up the thing. Uh, the thing was, like, made of steel. So, it probably would have been, like, extremely heavy. But she was able to bend it and pick it up. So, I'm assuming that that chick is someone of importance. I don't know, because, you know, I don't follow the Arrowverse that much. Ooh, okay, sorry. My arm was just bothering me. Okay, so, um, so they introduced that character and how she has powers, and it's really interesting, and then, of course, Supergirl saved the day, but first, Jean Jones, Martian Manhunter, had to save her, which is great. I like that, because he shouted, wake up, and then she woke up, which was great. Um, Okay, so that's it for now. See okay, so the final thing just happened. They really jammed a lot into that last 10 minutes, and I got that I really liked it. Okay, so uh, Lena and uh, Kara seem to be like close friends again. Kara especially seems to be like back to her regular happy self with everybody else. And um, so they announced Lena Luther uh, bought Catco. That's really interesting. It's really interesting. The other guy, uh, who's originally gonna buy it, got shipped away on one of those shipping, like, ships that, like, ship stuff to other countries. Because, like, Kara, as Supergirl, like, picked him up, flew him onto one of those, and then just left him there. So that's kind of funny. And, uh, while she was flying back, they showed a clip. They showed the, um... What is it called? The pod that they showed at the very end of the last season. And they showed it underwater. And it was glowing and it was super cool. Uh, another thing is... Uh, Alex asked... Um, Jean Jones to walk her down the aisle. So that's interesting. And... What else was I going to say? Oh yeah, and then at the very end... I really love the way that they ended it because... Like, uh, I really like the way that they ended it, though, because they ended it with, like, a pretty good cliffhanger, 
and uh, the daydream that they showed at the very beginning turned into like a nightmare for that one chick. So that's interesting. I really need to learn people's names so that when I do these reviews, I can do people's names. I'll be able to do that for the Flash and stuff. Pretty much, I'm just gonna be doing these for the Flash after this week because I really like the Flash. But since this was a season premiere, I decided I'll do it. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and yeah, peace out.